Hello and welcome to Value Chain News at 3. I am Naomi Oleribe. First, the headlines. NMPC to increase gas supply cash price. Nigeria's oil production stages recovery overtakes Libya. Enugu to shot prosecute owners of illegal LPG outlets and plants. In order to crash the soaring price of the liquefied petroleum gas, otherwise known as the cooking gas, the Nigerian National Petroleum Corporation yesterday disclosed that it is working hard to boost its supply. The managing director, Mala Mele Kiari, said once the corporation raises its supply, the price will fall. He spoke to reporters after commissioning Emadeb Energy Services and Butlin Plant in Abuja. When asked how the masses will afford and access the gas in view of the rising price, he explained that the high price was triggered at international markets. According to him, the costly gas price is a reflection of rising crude oil, or petroleum and derivatives at international markets. He added that it was also a supply issue. The Enugu State Fire Service has raised an alarm over the spate of unauthorized and indiscriminate location of liquefied petroleum gas popularly called cooking gas plants in the state. The state chief fire officer Okudiri Oha raised the alarm while declaring an open statewide fire safety workshop held in Nsuka and Ibuetiti, local government areas of the state, on Monday. Oha, who stated that small LPG refuel outlets had geometrically increased in the state and said the associated risks were grievous because of the high combustible nature of substances. He said these small LPG refuel outlets have geometrically increased in the fire risk situation in our society today. It's the mandate of the fire service to fight fire, prevent fire, and perform rescue functions during emergencies. And as such, it has the regulatory function to inspect, recommend appropriate fire safety measures, and issue fire permits, fire safety reports where these LPG outlets and plants should be located. The Nigerian Content Development and Monitoring Board NCDMB, has explained why it has been investing and developing commercial oil and gas projects across the country despite being a regulatory agency. The board has made several interventions in the oil and gas value chain such as the development of liquefied petroleum gas storage terminals and jetters, modular refineries, infrastructure for gas gathering, manufacturing of composite LPG cylinders. Dr. Gina Gina, NCDMB General Manager of Corporate Communication and Zonal Coordination, while speaking at an event in Port Harcourt, explained that the Section 70 of the Nigerian Oil and Gas Industry Content Development Act mandates the board to assist Nigerian companies to develop their capabilities and capacities in the country and in the oil and gas industry. He said the team of the event sustaining Nigerian content amidst shifting energy landscape, the role of the media was chosen in order to draw attention to the board's activities in sustaining Nigerian content growth despite rapid changes in the energy landscape. The Nigerian National Petroleum Company, NMPC Limited, spent 83.33 billion naira on the country's non-functional petroleum refineries in the first 10 months of 2021, according to the latest data from the National Oil Company. Documents from the NMPC on its November operations further revealed that the company has so far exceeded its budget for the security and maintenance of its pipelines by 18.25 billion naira as of October this year. The data on the country's performance from January to October indicated that besides petrol subsidy, the expense of the dormant refineries is one of the few cost centers that will be almost fully funded by the end of the year from the NNPC's budgetary projections for the year. Coming under the subheading refinery rehabilitation, the figures show that while a total of 100 billion naira was budgeted by the company for the entire 2021 as of October, it had released 83.33 billion naira for the purpose.
Nigeria has regained its top position among crude oil producing countries in Africa with crude oil production averaging 1.27 million barrels per day in November, according to the latest monthly reports from the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, OPEC. The latest OPEC reports indicated that Nigeria pumped an additional 47,000 barrels per day compared to the 1.228,000 barrels per day produced averagely in the month of October. Last month, Nigeria lost its top oil producer status in Africa to the North African country as its crude oil production continued to fall, mainly due to the aging upstream infrastructure. In the same month, Nigeria's oil output fell to about 1.23 million barrels per day from about 1.25 million barrels per day the previous month, with Libya, which overtook Angola as the second biggest producer in the continent in December last year seeing its oil production rise to 1.24 million barrels per day. Inflation picked up rates in November to reach 4.9% compared to the 4.5% in the previous month, driven by edible oil and fuel prices, which also impacted transport costs. Latest data released by the government on Monday showed that the oil and fat segment saw a near 30% spike in prices, while the increase in cases of fuel and light was over 13%. Clothing and footwear saw the biggest jump, rising close to 8%. Vegetable prices were one of the factors for higher inflections, but they softened by 13.6% in November. The reduction of fuel taxes helped soften inflation, a moderation in the CPI inflation for fuel and light, pan, tobacco, and intoxicants, and miscellaneous items were outpaced by the rise in the inflation for food and beverages, housing and clothing, and footwear. The impact of four tax cuts helped to dash the transport and communication sub-index by 0.6% in November 2021 in month-on-month -month terms. However, all the categories of miscellaneous items displayed on the hefty month-on-month -month rise, ranging from 0.2% for education to a sharp 0.9% for personal care and effects, underscoring the growing pressures in the country. <laughs> Nigeria raised half a billion dollars at MTN Nigeria PLC and Mafab Communication Limited on Monday paid $273,600 million each to acquire a 3.5 gigahertz band license for the deployment of 5G network in the country. This comes at a time when the struggling economy is unattractive to investors except for those looking at the numbers the telescopes have been producing for the past 20 years. The Nigerian Communications Commission NCC had announced MCN, Mafab Communication and Airtel Networks Limited as the three qualified bidders to have met the criteria for participation in the licensing process of 3.5 gigahertz spectrum, including payment of stipulated intention to bid deposit IPD as outlined in the information memorandum. The 5G network is expected to help achieve much higher latency, higher bandwidth, greater device density, longer battery life for nodes and greater network flexibility. 
Isa Pantami, Minister of Communications and Digital Economy, speaking during the event, said the 5G network will serve as a catalyst for the successful implementation of the National Digital Economic Development and Strategy for a Digital Nigeria and also support the implementation of the National Broadband Plan. That's the news at 3. I am Naomi Oliribi. Good afternoon.